So as a designer, there are a few things <laughs> that annoy me or that I have opinions yeah. about. And as a designer's husband, it's the stuff I often hear about. <laughs> so this is a little bit of a designer's rant today. All right. So the first okay. one, banners on a website. Okay. So wait for it. Go. <laughs> What he's referring to is, you know, you pull up a website, there's a full width banner. Everyone knows that. They're pretty much on every single website. The difference is not the banner, but when it's a slideshow. <clears throat> because people have decided, like, I want to have five rotating slides. Um, I would like you to comment below if you have ever pulled up a website and just sat there and been like, I really want to watch these five slides. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I, I've, I've gone through them if they've got the little bo the buttons at the bottom so you can manually scroll through them. Well, who are you? What? You no. I'm not going to wait for it to go on it on automatically, but I will click through them because obviously it's something that they wanted you to see. But I can see why you wouldn't like it. Well, it's it's not so much that I don't like it. It's just, I find that it's pointless now. Because like I said, who really, besides Aaron, sits and watches this slideshow? This is especially something that photographers like to do. Because we're like, well, they I'm... they have a lot of pictures. They have a lot of pictures. I'm also like, a photographer. I'm, I'm not a photographer. Well, I mean, uh, <laughs> amateur photographer. Whatever. Um... But, you know, they're like, oh, I'm just going to show off my work on the, you know, I really want to grab their attention. Yeah. Again, so it's, it's just not useful. It's just not useful. It's, there's no point mm -hmm. in having a slideshow there. Okay. So that was a warm up one. All right. I need, I need to see some fire and some fury on this next one. Okay. Because I okay. know every time she sees this, she's like, why did they do that? And she's about to flip her lid. And so... The next one is the font, Comic Sans. Can I throw something? It's overused. It's one. And it's not necessary to use. Just because you are a kindergarten teacher or a mommy blogger doesn't mean you need to use Comic Sans. What about a professional website offering your services? Absolutely not. What? <laughs> Especially not that. It just, people use it... Because they're like, oh, I'm advertising to mommies, or I sell little kid toys, or, you know, whatever. And I'm like, no, you don't have to use Comic Sans. I don't even like Comic it, Sans. Comic, comic Sans was created for comic books. That's yeah. the only time I and think it's okay. But it's okay not even to... used in comic books. I know. But that's okay. the original intent of it. Follow-up rant. Papyrus. Equally as bad. <laughs> Same in same line of thought. There are other fonts you can use. There are other fonts. You don't have but, to... But what if you're an Egyptian theme park? There are other fonts. <laughs> there are other fonts, okay? Don't use it. It's uh, just very uh, cliche to okay. use, like, chiller on a Halloween poster. True. Can we not try harder? We can, people. We can try harder. All right. Next question. Um... So, some of you might know of a site where you can get design done. Um, and it's a site called Fiverr. Boom. What is your problem with Fiverr? Fiverr. Um, I have two lines of thought um, with Fiverr. Fiverr is not a good solution for businesses. Uh -uh. This is not where you should go for a logo or a website. And don't start with me about, well, there's like... Upgraded so you can pay like fifty dollars. No. Still five. The, no. Still a multiple of five. It doesn't matter. You should be investing in your business. If you can't invest a couple thousand dollars, that's fine. There are other designers who mm -hmm. have lower price points. That's like fine. Me. You are not a designer. <laughs> do not hire him as a designer. <laughs> Don't do it. But you should not be investing in your business with Fiverr. Now, I will say the exceptions to Fiverr are, hey, I need someone to take the background out of your logo. You only have a JPEG, so it has a white background. Mm. 
you don't know anyone with Photoshop, mm -hmm. so you need to remove it and make it a PNG. Okay, sure. Go to Fiverr. Have pay someone five dollars to do that. Yeah, that makes sense. That should that should be what Fiverr's used yes. for. Yes. Simple little things that someone else that has a few extra minutes can get yeah. paid for. Yeah, like I would do that. <laughs> Yeah. If someone wants to pay me $5 to... And she knows how to do that. Yeah, like, I can do that. But, you know, I'm going to have my business logo created mm -hmm. with the help of Fiverr. That person um, does not know anything about your business. Not necessarily. They're not going to, you know, have a strategy call with you. Mm -hmm. They're not going to care about your business. They're like, what do you want in your logo? Okay, here. Now give me $5. Yeah, or 10 or 20 whatever mm -hmm. it is. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Um, the next rant is QR codes. Go. Um, well, thankfully, I don't really see many entrepreneurs using QR codes. It did get so overused. It did get overused. But the people were misusing the QR codes. There is no need to put a QR code on the back of a semi-truck. I know, right? <laughs> and people were just like, here's my QR code so you can pull up my website. I I can just type in your website. Just tell me what it is. I don't need to download an extra app to scan a QR code to pull up your website. Right? So the one use that I saw of a QR code several years ago was at a hotel. They had their little welcome card, had a QR code, and when you scanned it, it pulled up a like specific welcome message that hmm. you couldn't find on their website. Like, it wasn't their website homepage. Gotcha. It was just, like, welcome, thanks for checking in kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't a... That, well, I mean, I think that's what QR codes are supposed to be. It's not... It's supposed to be something... You're unlocking something. and yeah. Something yeah. secret or private or extra, a bonus. Not, hey, use this to pull up my to website. To pull up my website. Those are just a few of my, you know, rants as a designer... If you have any frustrations of your own in business or design or really anything, I'd love for you to share down in the comments. Otherwise, we will see you in the next video. See ya.